Salut tout le monde, euh, j'espère que vous allez bien. Aujourd'hui, on va discuter comment apprendre une langue. So, I've been seeing a lot of videos in my recommendations box lately, suggesting things to do now that Miss Rona season has given us more time indoors, less time outdoors doing things that we'd rather be doing, but it's nice to hear that you're right. So, one of the things that many people have been suggesting we do is we start learning a language. And what do they recommend? Duolingo. I've come up with a list of six tips on things that you can do to help you learn a language. I'm going to start off with a very, very big, shiny disclaimer. And it's that I'm not a language tutor and I'm by no means affluent in French. So take this all with a big pinch of salt. Uh, a very big, maybe a box. Ooh. Tip number one is listen to music in your target language. Uh, just Google top 40 in your target language. You'll come up with some of the songs that are really popping off at the moment in the charts. And from those, you'll start to figure out who you like. Who you... And once you get into an artist's news, you pick up a lot of vocab that you just don't learn in lectures. Formal French and slang French are very different beasts. I have a very long list of French artists that I love, so I'm just going to say a couple now, and if anyone wants any more, let me know. Um, I love Ayana Kamura, but everything she releases, chef's kiss. Also, love me some Angel, some Romeo Elvis, um, and plenty more. Tip number two is read books. Now, I know what you're thinking. When I say read books, you're thinking grammar books. <laughs> I'm not talking about grammar books. <laughs> I'm talking about books that you'd enjoy reading in English or in your native language. Some people I know, they will read a translation of a book they've already read in their target language. I would suggest finding used books because they're very cheap. This one, oh, I don't know if you can see that to be honest, which I got for 20 cents at a used book store when I was studying in Paris. You'll pick up on vocab, you'll pick up on grammar, this lovely book has taught me about a grammatical tense, historic. We love that tense. Tip number three, read news. Read <laughs> celebrity news. Read literally anything online that's about current things. Three whole benefits, and let me whip them out. Benefit number one, you learn how to discuss topical issues in your target language. So if we're talking about Brexit here in England, I can find out how to talk about it in France too. Who wouldn't want that? Advantage number two, you can learn different points of view. If there's something brewing, something stewing in your country um, and you read about it being reported in your target language, there's a different perspective. And reason number three is Different media outlets tend to focus on different things. I've noticed for me personally that French media tends to talk about Africa more than UK media does. I do think this has something to do with how France colonised some parts of Africa. Um, so there's that. So now we go to tip number four. Watch TV, watch Netflix, watch YouTube, watch whatever you can in your target language. This is a great shout, obviously, but you're also hearing it spoken at speed. So to try and help you get to that speed and get to that level of understanding, start watching YouTube videos, start watching TV, start watching series even. And once you get caught up in the series and in the plot and in the characters and you're invested, you're picking up all these lovely jewels of the French language along the way. So we go to tip number five. Now, I'll be honest with you, let's have a little heart to heart session. This one is the one that I do the least of, and it is right in your target language. Like pick up expressions throughout the day, and then we'll use those expressions and write down things like as a sort of diary. Definitely worth a shot. But we all know we get those writing exams, we see the question, and we think, when was the last time I wrote anything besides my name? The last tip talking to people. Do I need to explain how to talk to people? I'm gonna do it anyway. Find people who speak your target language, maybe even find people who study that language and just try and get into a little bit of a habit of speaking a little bit of French. A nice little drop. If you are really struggling, try speaking to yourself. The other day I spoke to myself in French for a bit. Okay. 
Okay, so we've gotten to the end of my list, which means that I'm basically done. Now that you've done all six of these spicy, wonderful things, just do them again. And yeah, languages are spicy, complicated, complex, wonderful, beautiful things because they're always changing. Slang, she's always popping up. We're always getting new expressions. The young people are creating them and we, we learn them, you know? But also technical vocabulary and things like that are always adapting and growing. So who knows what we'll be inventing words about in the future. Those are all my tips. I hope they've been very helpful to you. Let me know how you do with them. Subscribe if you want 